Hi, my name is Sean and I work for Adio.org. I'm here today to tell you about an exciting human-centered design workshop that we created with Acumen. Human-centered design starts with people, and we place people at the center of each stage of the design process. Human-centered design is about getting out there, prototyping rapidly, and iterating until we get our ideas right. This workshop, just like the human-centered design process, begins with discovery. As part of this course, you'll learn interviewing skills and other design methods to give you the confidence to get out there and start doing the human-centered design process yourself. Let's hear from one of our designers. I was on an IDEO.org project last year in Mexico, and we were focused on helping low-income people save more easily. One of the things we went into the field thinking was that people had never had bank accounts, but we found that many of them had had bank accounts, gave them up due to bad experiences, and instead had developed all sorts of innovative ways to save in their communities, families, between friends. So what, what we ended up doing is shifting the focus of the project to help them save better with the existing means and methods they had created. We never would have made this important breakthrough if we hadn't gotten out there and talked to people at the very start of the project. Thanks, Adam. The next stage in the process is called ideate. You and your design team will analyze what you learned and begin brainstorming new ideas. This part of human-centered design involves lots of post-it notes. First, uh, they help you capture everything you've heard out in the field and then start to organize them into themes. Uh, from there, you start to brainstorm and generate ideas really quickly. And for that, being visual is key. The last stage in this course is called prototyping. You'll gain the skills to quickly build and test your ideas with real people. Most importantly, you'll learn to iterate and evolve your ideas until you get them right. Let's hear from the shop. When we wanted to test a new model for selling low-cost, clean water in Kenya, we couldn't spend a lot of time thinking about what it would look like. Instead, we just went out, got some uniforms, we also made some posters, got a kiosk, and sold some items. The key was getting feedback from real people about whether or not they'd buy the product. Want some water? We created this course to give you the skills and confidence you'll need to begin designing solutions yourself. Sign up today.